What up, everybody? It's Ponter here. Today we've got a surprising game. Guess what? It's a match mode on Riviera. Who would have thought we're back to this? It's a 4v4 on Riviera as well. And I am actually playing in it, thank God. The teams are good. We'll see. Uh, yeah, there, there they are. Uh, we got Gold's Seijon, who I'm, I'm assuming is a Smurf. I haven't figured it out yet, but he's good, so... That's nice. And then we've got Blitz uh, playing air for us. And Dex on infantry. Now, and me on armor. On their team, we're going to have Bali, who is General X. Uh, Sergeant Pepper, who I believe is um, Small Island Smurfing. Uh, that's my guess. I figured it out, but you can let me know if I'm right or not. Or not. Um, and then Still, who is Peru, and Elian, who's Elian. Now, we're, we're on the uh, the NATO side. They're... Sejin is asking me if I am bringing in an extra tank or not. Makes me think that he is a better player than a gold player. Could be a, a actual good player sneaking into gold. I don't know. And I'm doing the 1-5 open air, which is 1 heavy and 5 lights. And I, you rarely do that. Well, usually I get the extra heavy and chuck it over here, but or send an extra heavy up here, assuming that there's going to be a windmill push. But I know, going into this, that there's probably going to be a town push. It's just what everybody's been favoring on the 4e4. There's been a lot of discussion on how the town push is OP, in this in this role and right off the bat we're just gonna watch this before i keep talking about anything else peru going balls deep already uh he charges into all the support he picks off you know so uh, like an aa and just gets completely wiped but he does delay decks and alien gets into the critical mansion and that changes my mind it also kind of fucks me up because i don't send I, I delay my light tank over here, so I'm going to miss out on a cap. It also, this kind of failure changes my idea about poking, because going into this, I'm assuming that there's going to be a town push. So what I want to do is put pressure on these two points immediately. That's why I'm overextending these light tanks, which is a basic, is a mistake. Uh, it really is a mistake. It does give Blitz the opportunity to bang on their, uh, on their overextended tanks. And you can already see this position is pretty vulnerable, and I want to push as soon as possible. But, you know, it's tough with this <laughs> uber-aggressive air player just inting in. And we can already see them forming up for an attack. And what we're also going to notice, uh, Bali General X is going to be support. And look at me decapping already. This is a mistake. I know that there's infant here. I know that light tank's going to get slaughtered, and that infant's going to be quickly getting a cap. I'm just feeding them TA. Also, Seijin gets dragged into this as well, and he gets wiped out, and now I'm pretty much naked over here. And my second spawn is late. I should have, I should have like, moved spawns or something, or gotten more light tanks and just chucked them here immediately. Now, these guys are going this way. Um, and again, I'm trying to pressure here, but look at... This is General X in a nutshell, guys. Like, playing, he plays support like armor, and I agree with that. I think there's a there's a group of us, like, whenever we're forced to play support, we just play it like armor, very aggressively, making the pushes happen. And again, look, like, I know that they're pushing here, so I'm like, oh, I gotta push here. But the conditions aren't set. And we didn't throw down any TA. Like, I'm holding a lot of TA. I could have set the conditions a little bit better, but I've just given them two easy recaps already and that you can say the same thing that they've done over here i don't know like psychologically though and this is yeah brutal psychologically i always feel like when i decap i'm feeding and then when when they decap they're just like outplaying us brutally i shouldn't have pushed up that paratrooper obviously there's a sniper in there probably could have given some ta to get that blown up like, if you want a sniper killed in the bunker, give it to the support player because they got 8 TA. Uh, 
They got the ATA LGBs. But I'm still holding... I don't know where to push. And this is the tough part. Like, they know where to push. Look at this. Three light tanks charging. Closely supported. Our air is kind of beat up. I'm out of position. Everything is out of position. And they're going to get another cap of town. And look at that. Elian's right there. Like, the insta-cap. Brutal. And then even an air-to-air -air attempt doesn't get him, though. Uh, but this team is firing on also. Like, what an excellent attack from this team. Um, just... And they're all together. Peru is there. They've got very aggressive support, supporting, and very aggressive armor attacking. And they're kind of, and they still have this. This is a very brave tank here, but he's ranked up. He's got a rep supporting. So like, I can't go head to head with that with armor, and I'm just already fucking up here, uh, not sending any lights. And I have no. And this is what the danger of the town push. It sucks you into a defensive, like this is purely a defensive, um, like I don't know, activity. This is defensive, okay? I'm not attacking the enemy team. Like I need to be attacking these to get the dom advantage, uh, but we are just defending our dom just to get back to stalemates. And so I start clustering. I use my big heap of TA to cluster so I can start pushing here. But again, the conditions aren't fully set. I don't have a lot of AA support. There's Inf in the woods, so they see it coming. We do manage to cap this again, but look at the Dom. Every time they do that dive into town, they get a lot of Dom. Uh, you know, you get four. Like, every time they decap, you get a two Chevron. But if they cap it, it's a four Chevron. And that bleeds us very quickly. And then in the meantime, I can't... I don't want to spend TA to defend because, again, you're kind of throwing good money after bad. Uh, and so unlucky. I wanted to kill that stupid ranked up um, shithead that's been in there all day. Like, And in the meantime, look, again, this is aggressive aggressive caps by General X. So they basically have two ground players doing their thing over here. The armor and... Well, actually, three. They have the armor, the support, and the infantry all attacking this, capping it. Again, giving them that's that four chevron advantage, and meanwhile, you know I can't pressure pressure here. Like I just can't get anything going. Um, I have no TA. I blew on my TA on shitty clusters. There's still, you know, air poking everywhere. Peru can play split air eventually. Like it happens a lot when he's inting and he only has one one or two choppers, and I'm not even there to get caps. <laughs> you know. I would play a pretty bad game this round, I'll say. I'll, I'll, I can cope about being rusty. Uh, you know, look, I can't even poke with the heavies here. Getting spawn raped, basically. Also, like, I don't know who Sijon is. We don't have the best... I don't know if he's, like, the best support player or if he is the best... Like, if he knows my idiosyncratic way of playing armor. The heavy aggression. And, again, when another team... Is doing stuff like this, like having these excellent attacks, it takes the initiative away. It's hard for a team to get gelling. Like, I can't get up here and get established and start ranking up tanks, shooting down into here and, and setting conditions to fight. You know, I have to send everything over here. And look again, they're, they're going for another decap. This one is a little ballsy, but it still works because of the suicidal air from, from still. You know, you do need to have the AA up here. Um, at all times. But we clear it up. Dex solo caps, that motherfucker. Um, incoming enemy nuke. And you hear that, that incoming enemy nuke. I didn't hear it at the time. Nobody else did, uh, except for Dex. Dex cle clearly heard it, because he's putting down the drops. Um, but yeah, there it comes. This is perfect, like, 30 second, like, right on the money. You know, what a what a consummate professional the General X is dropping the nuke to really just finish us off. Um, and at this point, I figured, okay, we're going to lose. Like, this team just outplayed us. Like, just excellent town push attacks. Firing on all cylinders. My kind of sloppy play. And that just really adds up. Uh, and, like, Peru's aggressive air really punishes a team uh, that's on the back foot. That's not working you know if you're not working together well you'll will be punished by peru even though he's a little 
a little too aggressive, a little bad, bad team plate. But he can really punish you when, when you start fucking up. And in the meantime, look, Elian's already pressing up here. We have nothing but, but forts. So, so this is soon going to fall. We're going to have to continue. Yeah, there's the clusters. We're going to have to continue, even killing my freaking drop. And now all of our units are going in here. And this is why you nuke here, guys. Like, I gotta like, keep telling you this. You gotta nuke here. Now, you notice my TA isn't that much. You know, we'll see if I can... Uh, if I can save up. But look at this this push. Again, a combined, combined arms push. Everybody's up here. Um, getting together. So now we have... We have to f go up here. You know, I have all my units over here trying to defend this. There's no AA. Oh, there's like one AA. So that's gonna get killed pretty fast once the air comes here it comes and now we have to clear this up i'm using all my ta to do drops uh because i realize okay we need something up here and drops will counter it but it's not looking good for this team and this is like your standard we're gonna lose uh kind of position on riviera like 4v4s are brutal i'll just say that they're unforgiving if a team gets an advantage it will snowball out of control quite quickly on either side of this map, I think I think there were some comments when I did the 3v3 that the USSR side is favorable on the 3v3 because you can do the town push. Um, I don't know. I don't have enough data to really uh, support that. But it does feel like the town push in a 4v4 is pretty, pretty effective. Especially when I'm doing ineffectual shit like this. Like, this is just terrible. There's, there's still a infant in this woods. That's terrible. Lots of open field inf. Both of these players, Dex, and uh, and look at this defensive artillery. Like this is like, I know why he's doing it. It's desperate. Like, but again, like this is defensive TA. Like this is to prevent them from capping what should be a gimme point. Both um, Elian and Dex, I think, are like even dead even on infantry, and they both mastered the open field inf. And it, it's the stuff's amazing, man. Like and especially in the smaller. Like in, in 3v3s, like both Elian and Dex were blowing my mind with their open field inf play. I know lots of other inf players can do it, but these guys are consummate professionals when it comes to that. And I think what you need, like we should have blown this. Uh, this should have been killed because it's killing Dex's open field inf. And we needed more up here maybe. I don't know though, like maybe one uh, uh, like a sniper up here just to deal with this. Because look at these aggressive shitheads. I mean, this is going to be important later on. There's going to be some drama, potentially. I mean, there's, we're going to have to discuss what happens at the end of this game, uh, or near the end of this game. In the meantime, it's really not looking good. Blitz has somehow managed to keep a lot of stuff alive, but look. Okay, I'm getting TA now. I do do a drop, but then I get a huge surge of TA, Seijun, and Dex pile... So Dex is holding like 40 TA and Sijon gave me some as well. When I see I'm close to a nuke, I'm communicating to my team. Dex is playing along, saying pool to me. Um, you know, small mercies. And I get a cap here. Blitz wastes 10 to 8 TA here. You know, I see that Blitz. I see that. Uh, so that's not team play, but I do get enough. He gives me this, his spare change, I guess. Drop him nuke immediately. Why do I drop a nuke immediately? Because we hold this. Their push is forming up here, but it's not yet critical. So I know they're kind of blobbed over here. But it, in, in reality, they, they, don't, they don't have much. Like, I kill this stupid um, medium, medium artillery. This somehow survives. This fucking survives. I don't kill their, their tanks at all. But the main thing is to clear those forts. And notice again, I know that nuke is coming. I have these guys ready to go. So I'm going to go and at least get some, like, a quick cap here. And in the meantime, miraculously, this tank with just a little bit of ta uh, health is managing to clear up these guys. He's going to die to this, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but we get a cap of this. They're doing, again, they're doing defensive TA, which might be a mistake. Maybe they should have done drops up here. I did clear up their tanks. I, I missed it, but uh, there was a couple light tanks that got chucked up here that I killed uh, with my Hesh rounds. The Hesh rounds are great. Uh, they don't have the same range as the uh, as the missiles, but they, they do pack a punch. So somebody can number crunch if they're actually better or not. Uh, but we do manage to cap this. We're managing to capture this. 
and we're keeping this decapped for the moment with the open field inf. Um, it looks like Elian pulled out. I guess you could truck a tank buster into this, save yourself two TA. And Dex is making the correct call. Like I have, I have the TA in my pocket. He's asking me to clear it. I see his drops coming down. I do the proper clusters. If you look at the direction, I do it this way and this way. You can see the little arrows uh, this way and this way. Actually, I think that, that way is the wrong way, but those clusters are going to land. They still managed to cap this, so we're still losing really badly. There's only five minutes left. The correct thing is to do is pull. Like, we have to hit every point. Like, we're gonna, the only way we're going to win is, like, a total dom. Um, and... You know, that's going to be tough. That's, that's tough. And I don't know where the, all their TA went. Um, like, we managed to do a lot of drops. I guess they're doing a lot of drops as well. Like, Elian's got tons of drops up here. I haven't seen a lot of drops out of Sergeant Pepper. But I guess they spent it all on the nuke. I mean, we also had enough TA to do a nuke. So maybe both teams did a little bit too much decapping around these areas and fed a lot. And here comes some of their TA clearing points. And this is correct as well. Like, clear these points and just chuck light units and decap and, and cap. That would kill us. And that's what... Look, General X is on the ball. He's going for the kill immediately. Gets the critical decap. Pop smoke. He's just going to sit there content. And Elian is on the way as well. A little slow, but... You know, we can't be perfect. So, things are not looking good for this team. And at this point, you know... I'm basically defeatist... Like, I don't, like, I'm still moving units around, but I know we're going to lose. Um, you know, I'm getting killed left and right, chasing after some AA here. I'm doing my own drops up here to help. We do have some combined arms shenanigans. Um, so we're, I'm dropping directly on the point. They're dropping directly on the point. Dex is following up. But they, they've cleared this, and we haven't got the juice going over here. And that's what we needed to do. And, like, we, I've never got a ranked up tank. You know, and there's just inf everywhere. Again, this open field inf is just so insanely annoying. It's just, it's pissing me off just looking at it. Look, he's running ATs. Like, again, like, Jax is doing the same. But what we really needed was some snipers to, like, keep this shit honest. Um, my plan, you know, it's the best we can do. And Dex is following along. Is just, let's clear this and go for the kill. Like, we've got some, we've got some action going. Like, this push has failed. Like, I finally have a critical mass of light tanks. And the inf has no more cover. You know, that's a small mercy. Excellent dodges by Sergeant Pepper. Like, Sergeant Pepper rightly read the room that those places are going to get clustered, and he pulled back. And here we go. And just, I want to note, there's going to be a DC, uh, but we want to keep a track of when that DC happens. So we are dropping and pushing and decapping, and we've managed to defend this. This team is now balled up. And it's looking very dangerous for them. And also, like, they can barely hold on to this. And we're just keeping an eye out on Elian. These are some very aggressive artilleries, but... These are offensive artilleries. Even though they're on points that we really need to cap, those guys need to cap them too. So, they're going to get sucked into that and destroyed. And... Again, we've got some even more combined arms up here with the, with the support. And boom. Okay, Elian drops... A 240. He runs home to Mummy. Apparently, this was a DC. Let's just take a review of the situation, though. But Elian drops. There's, there, like they lose the annoying open field inf. They lose whatever paratroopers they had lurking around, so there's no more vision. They lose whatever TA he was holding. Who, who knows how much TA he was holding? And there's still a lot of time for drops. And they lose whatever drops were up here are coming down. But, on the other hand, we've got a lot of artillery on them. We've got a lot of lights and stuff to cap. And we've got a lot of drops coming down up here. So, my question is, and there was some discussion about this in the, in the DC, uh, in the Discord, about the DC. Like, is this, was this a reason they lost? Dex... Seems to think that it wasn't the, the cause of the loss. And maybe, Elian, you can let us know how much TA you had in the pocket. Um, 
But he was basically wi almost wiped out anyways, other than a few kind of stragglers. So, and we had enough TA to do this. So I don't know if the drop, if the DC would have mattered. We still would have total dom them. And in the time that, like, it takes for... If Elian had, you know, been able to do para drops, could he have done some para drops over here and some clusters? Would that have stopped this total dom? I don't know. Um, but this is one hell of a comeback on our side. I, it does not feel as good of a comeback because of the DC. Also, it doesn't feel good because I played like absolute dog shit. I think the nuke kept us in the game. Um, and then just that kind of prep, again, like clustering these and distracting here was really all you need. Like they, like, so I guess in the, in the back and forth, the... The USSR team can always win or has a really good shot at winning if they push town and succeed. The counter to that is to push this as NATO. If you can get a good defense as USSR then and do the town push, that's an excellent combo for winning. And then you just do the coup de grace with the nuke and then you push up here and then it's game over. If we can just survive take control of this, take control of this, get them a little compact, do a nuke, and then YOLO into them, eventually that could work. And then you do drops and do this, this stuff. You could do the total dom. So, and I think it's easier for NATO to get this total dom. Like NATO, this is like the natural position for NATO to do this kind of stuff. I feel like it's easier for NATO to do that. Like USSR does have its own like spawn rape ability like they can get up here and and like really spawn rape and then charge into town but i just think it's easier for nato to get into this position and then just get that quick total dom in like 30 seconds and then it doesn't matter like they could have two extra infantry players but once they get into this total dom situation there's really not much you can do especially if they have enough you know we had like 40 50 ta between all of us to drop heavy arties so, like what can an infantry player do they can spam apcs maybe um, but that's it. So that's a good, uh, that's a GG. I'm sorry. It's on Riviera. We're, we're trying to do, we're trying to break out the, uh, break out of the, the mold of the Riviera games, but you know, this was a good one. Um, and it, it does make it think, you know, could it, they had two and a half minutes. Elian could have turned it around, I think. Um, but yeah, that's a GG. Uh, hopefully we'll get some better ones soon. Um, some even closer ones and yeah, take it easy guys.